Hello, my name is Reese Keller. I graduated in Highline from uh, I graduated from Highline in 2019, and I took mostly math and physics there. And I transferred to Seattle University to study applied math and physics. Um, and now I'm going to a PhD program in computational neuroscience and machine learning at Carnegie Mellon. Um, I ended up choosing the field of neuroscience in STEM just because I became really interested in how the brain works and how we make decisions, how we reason, how information flows in our brain. All these questions that center around like thinking about the brain in a computational way. Um, I think the most attractive aspect is just of, of the field of neuroscience that is so new. Uh, neuroscience became has become really inspired in the last 50 years and is a really amazing melting pot of so many different fields like physics, computer science, math, um, statistics, cognitive sciences. It really is just a great interdisciplinary subject. Um, if you're hesitating to join um, STEM or you know try getting into the fields of STEM, I would say you have to go for it. Um, even if it looks scary, you know, there are movies out there and, and, and uh, stigmas that, you know, physics and math are really hard, science is really hard, you have to be some sort of genius. But none of those are really true, right? It's just like any other subject where if you like it, you'll put in the work, you'll enjoy it, um, and you'll succeed. And if you don't like it, you'll know. But the only way you'll know either of those things is if you try it. So you have to put yourself out there, you have to try it. Um, and see for yourself if, if something that you want to try to do and become successful in. Because if you want to be successful in it, you definitely will. I think everyone has that potential. Um, so Highline really supported me in a lot of ways, um, especially in the way, you know, just the class environment, right? Highline has small classes, and that is a really special situation to be in, right? My teachers knew um, how to push me in ways that I didn't, you know, no, I needed to be pushed and you had to challenge me when I thought I knew the material. Um, so it was really a, a privileged experience. A lot of people don't get to learn like that. Um, and I, I was thankful to the teachers at Highline for having, you know, such a good, you know, pedagogy and, and attitude towards their students. Um, outside of class, I really like to tutor um, things I enjoy like math and physics, but also other things like writing and language, just because, you know, Tutoring in general is a really great way to um, express your passion for any subject and, and make sure you're understanding how to communicate what you're interested in with other people. But also on the on the giving end, right? It's it's just really important to uplift and, and encourage everybody to succeed in the things that they want to do. So if you're in a position where you can help somebody become a little bit more confident or help somebody get, become a little more excited to about STEM or whatever it is you're helping them with, that's that can be really important and, and really powerful for them and for you. Um, as far as, you know, when I was a student at Highline, I wish I had just known that um, I don't have to have it all figured out. I always thought, you know, like, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? And I never really enjoyed the moment. And whether you're a running start student or you're an adult or you're switching your careers, Highline is not the end of your path, right? Highline is a you know, stopping place, a, a really an important one, but it's just a stopping place along some path of where you're gonna end up. And that ending part is gonna be good. It's gonna be better than where you are. It's gonna be better than where you've been because you know, you're working hard and you're gonna be successful. Um, and you, you know, so just enjoy it and, and focus on, on that. 